Equivalent frame method considers the structure to be made up of equivalent frames on column center lines in both the longitudinal and traverse directions. The three-dimensional building is divided into a series of two-dimensional equivalent frames in both directions. The two-dimensional frames, which are centered on the support lines, extend the full height of the building and consist of the columns and the portions of the slab bounded by the panel center lines on each side of the columns. Although analysis of each equivalent frame in its entirety is permitted, a separate analysis of each floor or roof is also permitted for gravity loads. In such cases, the far ends of the columns are considered to be fixed. Negative and positive factored moments for an entire equivalent frame are then distributed to the column strips, middle strips, and beams for the reinforcement section in accordance with applicable building code. The definition of columns and middle strips vary depending on their equivalent frame location, 